girlfriend in the face. Thump her in the face. So I went over to him. And I said, you must leave. Oh, he's blatant because he was like, right in front of me. I didn't do the, uh, can you come to the, can you come to the exit? Yeah. I never bothered doing that because it was so blatant. I decided to say, right, you must leave now. And he was at the side of the bar. I went, and I went over to him and I said, you have to leave. And he goes, I'll leave when I'm ready. All the guys on that side of the bar moved, the big guy. He said, I'll leave when I'm ready. I said, no, so you must leave the premises. Behind me there was another door supervisor. And the door was just, there was two door supervisors there as well. But I was facilitating the eviction. I'd already called it in on radio. His girlfriend moved over to the side. And I said, I said to him, I said, okay, finish your drink and leave. we will wait him while he's got his drink in his hands. Only that much left, a quarter of a glass. And he finishes his drink. He gets his drink and throws it up the bar as he's about to go. And here's me gesturing like so. There's no contact. As he walks past me, I didn't even expect, he was very fast. He spun around. I was still in this position. <laughs> Could you imagine what would have happened if you'd have caught me on the jaw? Bingo. I'll be out clean. If you accidentally punch someone in the neck area, or the jaw area, neck area, you'll kill them. Yeah. yeah? Did you two guys stay trying to punch the neck, not the, the jaw not area? <laughs> yeah, you go for the neck as well. You're, You're a dangerous neck. woman. Be careful of her. <laughs> Especially when we do physical intervention. Uh, she might just accidentally call it an accident and decide to punch you in the neck. You'll have to use your Filipino martial arts on her. You've got to All right. Okay. <laughs>